Welcome everyone to Team APS. I am Larry. And I'm Alec. And today we're discussing the Lord of the Rings Tales from Middle Earth set from Magic the Gathering. We're talking about our top five, five each, ten in total, favorite cards as far as artwork and lore are concerned. The main thing that caught my eye with this set was a lot of the artwork and like seeing passages from the book like drawn out and just kind of like pop out in mm -hmm. playing card form. My favorite character in the Lord of Rings story you'll, you'll is never guess. Aragorn. Mm. So I have to start with Aragorn. Or as, the, as he was originally known, Strider, Ranger of the North. This encapsulates how cool I thought Aragorn was as a kid. In this artwork, you can see that he is brandishing two sticks that he's lit on fire as he wards off what looks to be it's the, uh, the, the ring raids, the Nazgul. The Nazgul, yeah. And that just showed he was fearless, he was strong, and all of that is in this artwork. One of my favorite cards. It's a very iconic scene in the book. Oh, it's also Aragorn, I can tell. It's not, not this one. In that it shows, it's the first time you kind of see how strong someone is. That, like, okay, you can just say if you pick the same card as I me. did not. No, no, I did not. And it is, you cannot pass. Ah. Uh, this was Gandalf the Grey at the time, standing up to the Balrog in the Mines of Moria. No. That's so iconic. It is, very. Because, like, that's the first time you actually see Gandalf being a wizard. And I guess, and even, like, at the bottom where it reads, like, a passage from the book. I believe it's the book. It's been like years since I've read it. And it's like, even now, it's like, kind of gives me chills. It's like, it raises whip and the thought throng. It raised his whip and the throngs whined and cracked. Fire came from his nostrils, but Gandalf stood firm. I think that really was, I mean, that was probably Gandalf's greatest moment. Not? I don't think so. Oh. You know. Aragorn is my favorite character. So my second card is actually also a card featuring Aragorn. It's Aragorn and Arwen wed. Get your mans. What? It's a beautiful moment between these two. Mm -hmm. It's like the moment in the whole set. To you? Yeah, to me. Just that's, that's my them, opinion. Them, them, my be, them being wed. What's the flavor text say? It says Aragorn. King of Elisar, wedded Arwen, oh, ah, Undomiel. Und I, I think that's what it is. My elvish isn't yeah, great. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and the tale of their long waiting and labors came to fulfillment. Now, again, going back to one of my favorite people, characters. So this time you, it is an Aragorn card, isn't it? No. I have Gandalf White Rider, now this is one of the parts I was like, yes. He brings the Riders of Rohan with him to assist. Is it Helm's Deep? But this is him coming with the Riders of Rohan to assist. So do you think this is his greatest moment? This is one of his greatest moments. Yeah. All right. All right, Next so card. my third card, hmm. and I promise this is my last card featuring Aragorn. Your last card? It, well, it could be. It is. Aragorn, King of Gondor. That's funny, because my third card is also Aragorn, King of Gondor. So you finally give in. I, I didn't give in. I said it was a good character, and I like I like this card, and this is my favorite Aragorn card. Like, so I'll give my reason, and you can give yours. Sure. So this is Aragorn in his most majestic and gallant form. Enter. Mm -hmm. I mean, overall, we both agree that this I, I is this an card. excellent yes. depiction of Aragorn as the king of God. Yes, this is this is a, a perfect juxtapos juxtaposition of Stry from Strider, who he started with, to the king he eventually became. They're almost like two different people. Almost. And the flavor text reads. In this place will I abide, and my heirs unto the ending of the world. He's standing by Gondor forever. Ever. At least till he, he dies at the age of 150 or something. He lives a long time. Mm -hmm. Everyone seems to in this world. All right, so that was actually both our third cards. So I guess I get to go again. Mm. All right, 
So you went out on a limb and you had an Aragorn card, right? I didn't go out on a limb. So here's my Gandalf card. <laughs> friend of the Shire. He's the friend of the Shire. So some of my favorite parts in the books were actually just the this, the parties they held in the Shire. I can agree with that. And like very early in, you you read about how Gandalf would just show up and he'd perform tricks. He'd bring fireworks, he'd make lights in the sky and delight at the hobbits. That was his little home away from home where he like, after all his travels, he can just come to the Shire and just... The hobbits were simple Not have to people. worry about stuff. Like the difference between like starting and ending. Mm -hmm. Like this, how, you know, simple Gandalf friend of the Shire, you know, he's a, you know, homely, you know, friendly wizard to the great warrior wizard he ends up becoming. Yeah, that. Th yeah, this is like, you know, friendly neighborhood wizard and that's... I come to smite thee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your fourth card? My fourth card. So we go from the friendly confounds of the Shire to the far east of Mordor. Oh no. My fifth, my fourth card is Sauron, Lord of the Rings. The, I like this card because very rarely in the book is it kind of described what Sauron looks like. So for me, it was that you kind of knew of Sauron, but it was it was hard to like put in your mind. Okay, mm -hmm. what does a being of pure evil like this? What would he look like? Because like, early on, it's very abstract. To me, it looks terrifying. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what Sauron was. He wasn't a person. Like, he wasn't a man. He wasn't an elf. He was just a thing. He's the closest thing to, I guess, I want to say pure evil, both in literary terms. That's just like, he's, he's just, like, just a force of evil nature. Like, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just like, hey, we're just going to do bad I'm going to do bad things because I want to. Mm -hmm. Give me the ring so I can do more bad things. Yeah. Like, so what do I get if I give you the ring? I'll do less bad <laughs> things to you not, right not, now. Not even then. It's like, I'll, you can die now or you can die later in agony. Yeah. I think that that's a good scary artwork for him. This is not scary. Well, not at all. This is Bilbo Retired Burglar. Mm. So this is during Bilbo's retirement party. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, that's when Bilbo just slips the ring on in front of all of the other uh, right. hobbits. That's he did do that. And Do stupid, oh my god. <laughs> and Bilbo played around with the ring. It was more of a game to him. Mm -hmm. At that point, he had it for so long. Yeah, but no one knew where it was. No one knew where to look. The mm -hmm. Shire was, was so safe because no one ever thought to check the Shire. Mm -hmm. And then Bilbo never didn't have any ambition, not really. He just wanted to go on adventures. And after the events of The Hobbit, I mean, he had his adventure. So my fifth card is my favorite Lord of the Rings character. Because when I read, when I was reading about him, it, you know, that's your favorite. It captured me in the sense that I, I understood, I don't say I understood this character, but I, he, he spoke to me because there was so much mystery around this character and what or who they were. Boromir. No. Faramir. <sighs> Gimli. I'm gonna shave you. <laughs> that is Tom Bombadil. Oh yeah, that, that, that uh, yeah. That's when funny. I read about Tom Bombadil and even after that, about like how he doesn't want the ring. He doesn't care. It, he doesn't care about it. The ring has no sway over him, has no power over him. He's just, he's happy and content to live in his little piece of woods Cause with, Pom with Goldberry. Bombadil was essentially like a god. We don't know. It's like, never explained. Like, he's like a god. Like he it's, lives forever seemingly. It's, and... it's never explained. And that's why I was like, yeah, just like this strange person in the woods was just like, yep, I'm, I am happy and content here. I don't care about that. I remember even they said in his realm, he, he, was, he was absolutely he was, he was powerful. Lord, yes. Yeah, there was this, he had complete control of anything within his realm. Mm -hmm. And for a time, they thought to leave the ring with him because, well, they were like, yeah. well, maybe Sauron and, can't and, get and, to and, it. And I, remember, and I remember this passage. I, 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 can, I can almost quote it. I can't fully. Because I was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. But I remember Gandalf was like, no, because he wouldn't care about it. Mm -hmm. He would no sooner lose it than 
he like would actually end up throwing it, it into a river, just and then actually keep it safe. And they're like, yeah, we can't leave it with him. And even in in the end of the book, it says like after everything was done, Gandalf spent like some time just talking with them. What did they talk about? I don't know. I know. I don't know. I need answers. I mean, give me my answers. So those are our five. My honorable mention here is oh, actually gee. all of the lands, all the, of the, the maps. Land. The maps. The, oh. Yes, that's my honorable mention. Oh. I'll bring them up on screen. I'll have all of them on. I have a few honorable mentions. Uh, the Balrog um, was pretty high. All the Legolas cards. All the Legolas cards. All the Legolas cards. How you include? How you have all the Legolas cards as honorable mentions and not include a single one? Cause they were just honorable. Like I like it, but. I don't know. <laughs> well, guys, these are our favorite artworks, Oops, and I guess one. as they, as they, and as they relate to lore in this set. Uh, what are your what's your favorite artworks and depictions of these characters? And tell me why it isn't Aragorn. Wow. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. We're all tapped out. Fast turn. <laughs>